Lovely. So make your way to your mat. Find a comfortable seated position. Sitting nice and tall, lengthening the spine. Just allowing your shoulders to relax. And close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your breath. We're going to take a sum of Ruti equal breathing. So take an exhale and then we'll inhale together. One, two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. And exhale. Keep this counting going in your mind. Creating balance between our in-breath and our out-breath. If it feels good, you can increase your count to five or slow your counting, whichever works best for you. After your next inhale, just introduce a pause, holding the breath for the count of two before releasing and exhaling with your count. This breath retention, Kumbhaka, is holding that oxygen, that energy in your body. Naturally, we have a pause on the exhale and we're swapping that round. So we're pausing with the energy in us. And allow your breath to return to its natural state. And gently open your eyes. We're going to come straight into a tabletop position this morning. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And then take a cat cow in time with your own breath. So we inhale to cow pose, dropping our belly, lifting our tailbone and chin. 
And exhale, rounding a spine to cat pose. When you come up to your cow pose, push the mat away. See if you can lift your chest so your shoulders are moving away from your ears. And then bring your spine to a neutral position. We're going to keep our head and shoulders still to start with and just take our hips left to right. You can do a little pulse on each side if you like. Just take a little pulse to the right, little pulse to the left. And then release the pulse, go back to your little pendulum swing of your hips and start to loosen up. Start to get a bit of salsa in your hips. Just creating a figure of eight if you were looking from the top down. Allowing your spine to snake here as well, and then getting your shoulders involved, if it's comfortable to do so. And pausing, just resetting in the center. Bring your knees together. We're gonna to sit back into child's pose, walking fingertips ahead, and then just releasing your head and neck down to the mat. Lengthening through the back of the body. And then walk your hands over to the right hand side. Place your left hand on top of the right. Stretching up the left side. Walking your hands through center, over to the left, place right hand on top of left. And then bring hands back into the middle. We're going to draw our body weight into our hands. Take the right foot and step it round to the outside of the right hand, coming into the lunge. Just make sure that you're nice and sturdy here. We're going to open our chest and shoulders, inhaling arms up to the sky. Exhale, take the arms wide, that's a big circle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, circle, and then take the arms overhead. We're gonna bring our right hand down towards the ground and side stretch, reaching that left arm overhead, feeling length from your left hip all the way up through the side of your body. And then reaching arms back to the sky. Bring into the inside of your front foot, sweeping that leg back round, knees together, and sit back into your child's pose. Just walk your fingertips forward a little. Feel that gorgeous length in the spine. And then draw body weight into your hands, taking the left leg, step it to the outside of the left hand, and find sturdiness in your lunge. Inhale, fingertips reach to the sky, and exhale, take your circles. Inhale, reach. 
Exhale, circle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. And then bring those arms overhead. Left hand comes down to the ground and side stretch, reaching the right arm up and over. And then returning arms overhead, bring into the inside of your front foot. We're going to tuck our back toe under and step to a downward facing dog. Just pedaling out your dog, waking up all the muscles in the back of the body. I love the feeling of a down dog early in the morning. <laughs> it's like when you have your first stretch when you wake up, it just feels Lovely, it feels like it's needed. And then walk your feet slowly up towards your hands. We're gonna to come to a forward fold at the top of the mat. You can make any adjustments in your fold to make it comfortable for you. Soft knees or straight legs. Hands on the ground or holding opposite elbows. Just find comfort in your fold. And release your elbows if you were holding on in ragdoll. We're gonna bend our knees and roll up to standing. As you near the top, take an inhale, reach arms overhead, bring hands together for the mascara, and then lower through heart center. We'll take two more of those. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, lower hands. One more, inhale, reaching overhead. As you exhale, we're gonna take these prayer hands all the way down into another forward fold. So rolling your body down, just releasing your hands, and then stepping your heels and toes together so you can squeeze your calves together, squeeze your thighs together. Sitting down into our imaginary chair, Utkatasin. We're gonna slowly reach our arms up to the sky and hold our chair pose. Checking that your chest is nice and lifted and your hips are nice and low. And then bring your hands to the mascara heart center. Take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and twist your body into twisted chair. Haru Vrita Utkatasan, keeping hips low, keeping that top shoulder lifted. And then returning to center, we're going to inhale, take our arms up to the sky. As we exhale, take nice big circles with the arms. Inhale, hands together, reach them high. Exhale, circle. Inhale, reach. And we're gonna pause with our arms overhead. You can separate your hands to shoulder distance if it's more comfortable and then send your hips down to your chair pose. Keeping those arms long and straight, pulling the fingertips up and back. And then bring your hands together to prayer position, taking left elbow to the outside of your right knee and twisting into your twisted chair. Beautiful. Returning to center. Let's release our hands down to the ground. Step our right leg back 
to crescent lunge. So make sure you're nice and sturdy in your lunge. We're going to inhale, arms up to the sky. As you exhale, twist to the left, bringing your arms to horizontal. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, hands to either side of that front foot. Stepping back to a plank position. Nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, knees mat width, toes together and come into child's pose. We're going to inhale to our modified cobra. So bringing the body forward, keeping arms straight and then just lifting the toes and head up to the sky. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, coming forward, lifting to modified cobra. Do one more of those. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, to modified cobra. And then tuck your toes under, lift hips to down dog. And you can either be static here or pedal out your dog. And then taking little steps, walk your feet up towards your hands. Coming to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Just shifting your body weight into the balls of your feet. Allowing your head to hang heavy. If you're looking at your toes, just tuck your chin under. And then take a nice deep bend of the knee. You're going to step the left leg back to crescent lunge. Just getting nice and sturdy. Excellent. Inhale, arms reach to the sky. As we exhale, twist to the right, arms to the horizontal. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to plank position and hold for one inhale. Exhale, knees mat with big toes together and come back to child pose. And then inhale, body weight forward to modify cobra, lifting those toes, dropping hips down, lifting gaze. Exhale, send your hips back to child's pose. Inhale, body weight forward, eye goes up. Exhale to child's pose. One more time, inhaling forwards. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips to down dog, and then option to pedal out your feet if it feels good. My toes feel like they want to stretch this morning. And then take little steps, walking your feet up towards your hands, hanging in a fold at the top of your mat. Forward fold of your choice. And then release hands to ground. Take a nice deep bend in the knees and we're going to roll up to standing. And find mountain. And fix the wardrobe if you need. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> I have yet to find a pair of leggings that just stays, stays nicely put. Take wardrobe if you need. And then let's just loosen up the top of the body. Take a swing. Feel that release through the shoulders, through your back.
Our hamstrings should be nice and warm now. So we'll come to a tree pose and then you'll have the option to extend out your tree. So starting off, creating connection with the ground, so spreading your toes, press them down, grip the earth, and then create engagements in your left leg, strength all the way up through the body, strengthen the core. And imagine you're being pulled up through the crown of the head. So your body is strong and long. And then option to take your right foot to ankle, to calf, or to thigh, and hands to namaskar. Check in with your breathing. On your next inhale, reach your fingertips up to the sky. As you exhale, open your arms out wide. Turn your palms up to the sky and just feel that lovely openness through the body, that connection to the energy around you. And your option is to stay here or if you would like to bind, these fingers on the right hand, wrap around your big toe. And then we extend that leg slowly out to the side. Beautiful. If your leg's extended, just bring the foot forward. And then slowly release that knee. And everybody bring your feet back down to the ground. Take a little wiggle. <laughs> Kick a football. <laughs> and remember to take water a little and often before we do the other side. Lovely. So creating strength and connection, let's spread out the toes on the right foot, soften this knee and strengthen. Working up through the body, you can strengthen as you go, strengthen and lengthen. And then when you feel sturdy, take your left foot into position. Bringing hands to Namaskar. Finding a focal point, just resting your gaze there. And inhale, fingertips slowly up to the sky. Exhale, arms out to the side, spread those fingertips wide, and just draw your arms back to open your chest. Feel this lovely openness. Option to bind, take your peace fingers of your left hand around your big toe and extend out that left leg. And if you have extended, just draw that left backwards. So we're opening up the hips. And if you're extended, bring your leg forward. Bend into the knee. And then everybody release the legs down, release your arms. Take a wiggle. <coughs> well done. And then we'll come to the tops of our mats. We hit distance. Let's take a nice inhale, arms overhead. We're going to side stretch to the right as we exhale. Inhale, straighten. Exhale to the left. Inhale, straighten. <clears throat> and exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway left. Exhale, hands to the ground. And then just walk 
your feet back into a down dog. We're going to inhale, lift up onto our toes, and exhale, bend our knees, hover them just above the mat, holding here. Still breathing, engaging those muscles in the core. And then send your hips back up to down dog. Have a little pedal out of your dog. We're going to take a twisted down dog. So if you need a bit of space, you can walk your feet a little closer to your hands. You can also bend your knees if you need. Taking your right hand, reach across for your left ankle and take a look under your armpit. Take a look over to the left hand side. And then reset the right arm. Take the left arm across to left ankle. And then reset in your down dog. We're going to inhale our right leg to three-legged dog. Your option is to hold your right leg here in three-legged dog. In itself, this is quite a challenge. If you would like to go a little further, you can try lifting your left arm, taking yourself to a two-legged dog. So just reaching that arm forward, just lifting your fingertips up off the mat. And then slowly lower the hand, lower the leg, pedal out your dog. We'll try the same on the other side. So left leg to three-legged dog. And then option to lift that right hand. And then return the hand, return that foot down, take a little pedal, and we'll drop our knees mat with big toes together, come to child's pose. Just releasing your forehead to the ground, taking a few lovely deep breaths, just nourishing, drawing energy into your body. And then walking your hands back in towards your body. We'll take our hands behind our backs, interlace our fingers, and just draw the knuckles to the back of the rim, opening up your chest, having a lovely stretch through the front of your body. Oh, that feels so nice on the shoulders. And then just relax. So stepping your knees together, <clears throat> we are going to flick out our fingers, but at the same time, come from low, low, from low kneel to high kneel. So taking an inhale, we're going to lift ourselves up, flick out our fingers, all the way overhead. As you exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale, squeeze the glutes as you lift yourself high. Exhale, slowly lower. And then one more. Inhale, lift. This time we're going to stay high, make fists with our hands, and take a little circle through each wrist. Just going in one direction and then changing to go the other way. And then let's bring those circles into our elbows. And again, change direction. Beautiful. Bringing your hands to your shoulders. 
We'll take some nice big shoulder rolls. And change direction. And then bring your hands back down to the ground. Tucking your toes under, we're just going to walk our feet just behind our pants to come into crow pros. So if crows in your practice, you can go straight ahead and do it. Otherwise, spread your fingers wide. Have your hands flat on the ground, shoulder width apart. Take a little bend in the elbows. So they are creating like a little ledge in order for you to rest your knees on your upper arms, right at the top of your upper arms. And then just shift your body weight from your feet to your hands until you find that you're able to very slowly lift your feet off the floor. And there's no point in jumping into this. If you jump into it, you'll fall over. So you have to find the balance to do it slowly. And then drop yourself back down. We're going to bring our hands behind us, make our way to Bhattakonasana, round angle. Soles of the feet together, nice straight spine. And just take a little reset. Beautiful. Taking your gaze over your right shoulder. Let's just stretch out our necks. And then slowly take the gaze over to the left. And reset in the middle. Crossing your right leg in front of your left leg. You're going to take some Sufi circles. So just gently easing up the spine, easing up the hips. And just notice which direction you're going in. Notice if you're going clockwise or anti-clockwise. And then come to stillness, lengthening the spine. Taking right hand to your left knee, left hand to the base of your spine. Inhale, draw your spine long. As you exhale, take your gaze over your left shoulder. Your option is to stay here or create a bind by taking that left hand and reaching it round your back, hooking your fingertips over your right thigh. And return your gaze to the front, release your arms. We're going to take our right foot and if comfortable, bring it to half lotus. So placing it on the left part. If that's too much, you can stay in your um, cross-legged position. And then just walking our hands down into a fold. Notice how if your legs are in half lotus, rather than targeting your hamstrings and your back, you're targeting your glutes. So this is more of a Hip opener. And then walk your hands back in towards your body. We're going to swap our legs around, so this time crossing legs, left leg in front of right. And whichever way you did your CP circles last time, we're going to go the other direction. Feels quite different, <laughs> swapping legs and swapping circles. And then come to stillness. Taking your left hand to right knee, right hand to the base of your spine. Lengthen as you inhale, twist as you exhale. Continuing to breathe. An option 
to take your right hand to your left side for your bind. Bringing your eye gaze forward, we're going to release our hands to our knees and then option again, using that word a lot today, <laughs> to bring left foot on top of right calf for half lotus or stay cross-legged if that's more comfortable. Bringing your hands down to the ground, slowly make your way into a forward fold. And then walk your hands back in towards your body. We're going to keep this right leg bent and take our left leg round behind us for pigeon pose. So just turning your hips to face forward. If it is uncomfortable staying so high, you can grab a block or a blanket and just place it under your right hip for extra support. Otherwise, if you are able to just walk your toes backwards, get your hips nice and low. And our right foot is coming towards our left hip. So we don't want to squash the foot underneath the thigh. Just finding comfort in your pigeon. And then gently press into the mat, lengthening your spine. So we're creating this sort of ski jump curve in the spine. Lovely. And then option to stay here, or if you'd like to work towards mermaid, you can bend into your back leg, maybe take hold of the foot. It is early, so don't force your body into it if it's not ready. You can take it to any step that works for you. So if you can hook your toes into the crease of your armpit comfortably, then you can think about the bind. If this is too much already, then we're just going to hold here and work on the thigh. If you do want to make your bind, take it slow. And join those fingers. And then just gently release that back leg. We're going to Bring our elbows onto the ground. Just feel that softness in the back of the body. And if you want to, you can walk your arms out stretch and rest your forehead on the floor. And just before we all fall asleep here, <laughs> let's walk our hands back up towards our body and do the other side. So bring that left leg round, take your right leg back and then square your hips. Option again to take your prop, place it under your left hip. It can be anything, a blanket, a pillow, yoga block, whatever you have handy. Otherwise, walk your toes back, wiggle them back to get your hips nice and low. And then taking your hands back with the part, let's gently press into the mat and lengthen our ski jump spine. And just try pressing the top of your foot, your back foot, into the ground. Just adding to that lovely stretch of the hip flexors, lovely stretch through the front of the body.
and then release. And you can hold here or bend into your back leg. Taking hold of the foot, stretching your quads. You can test the waters with your mermaid if you like. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Very nice. Lovely. And then gently release forwards rather than backwards. <laughs> and come down onto your elbows. Oh, we're just taking a few breaths here. Take a little wiggle on your elbow before you go down. It feels so nice. And then straighten out your arms and relax. And then walk your hands back in towards your body. We're going to place our hands shoulder width apart, spread those fingers wide, and then tuck the back toes under and step to a plank position. We're going to take a side plank, so your option is not to come to your knees if you need. Otherwise, roll onto the sides of your feet, reach your right arm up to the sky. You can stay here if you're happy here, or take your right knee up, towards the ceiling, keeping your top toes on your bottom knee. If anyone's feeling really adventurous, you're welcome to straighten up that top leg and take hold of your toes. It's not for me today. It's a bit too early in the morning. <laughs> and then reset, back to plank, nice and slow, and pause here, just lengthening and balancing the spine. Let's take the other side, left arm up to the sky. Option to stay in side plank or take your left knee up towards the ceiling. And then return yourself slowly to plank. We're going to send our hips back, bending our knees. So we're in a crouching position. And then tuck your chin into your chest, roll the spine forward into plank. And then take a nice deep bend in the knees, send those hips back, tuck your chin, lift your tailbone and roll forward into plank. We'll do one more of those. Crouching backwards. Lifting the tailbone, tucking the chin, and rolling forward. And then just stepping or jumping your legs to cross. So we're back in our seated position. And extending into Dandasana, legs out straight, toes to the sky. Just pressing your palms into the ground, either side of your hips, and straighten up your body. Let's interlace our fingers. Take the palms of our hands up to the sky. Nice big stretch. As you exhale, take that stretch over to one side. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, straighten. Release the fingers and make your way into a forward fold. Nice and slow. Nice and gentle.
And then slowly roll yourself back up to seated. We're going to bend our knees up to the sky. Just bring your hips nice and close to your heels and come down onto your back. Adjust any ponytails that need adjusting. <laughs> and just pause here for a moment, enjoying this contact between your spine and the ground. We're going to take the soles of the feet together, open the knees out wide, recline cobblers. And then take your arms overhead, reaching your fingertips to the back of the room. Just feel that lovely openness. Just surrender. Let go of your inhibition. Just be open. Accepting. Be aware of your breath. Let's keep our arms where they are. Just take the right knee over to meet the left knee. Just a nice gentle twist. Nothing forced, nothing strenuous. You can soften your elbows if your arms are still reaching. And then open that right knee back out to the side. We're going to take the left knee over to meet the right. And return to Supta Balakanasana, your recline cobblers. If you've got something warm handy, just grab it now. It's very chilly outside. Hopefully your houses are warm. And then make your way to any position that you would like for your relaxation. So it can be seated as it's early, it can be Surrender, lying on your belly, it can be on your back in Shavasana. Take a few moments to make yourself completely comfortable. Close your eyes. Soften your face. and relax your whole body. We're going to take a rapid image visualization. A number of different things will be named. Try to develop a vision of them on all levels. Feeling, awareness, emotion, imagination, as best as you can. A burning candle. Burning candle. Endless desert. Egyptian pyramid. 
torrential rain. Snow-capped mountains. Greek temple at sunrise. Birds flying across the sunset. Fluffy clouds drifting. The night sky full of stars. Full moon. Smiling Buddha, wind from the sea, waves breaking on a deserted beach, the restless sea. The eternal restless sea. Now relax your efforts. Draw your mind back to your breath. Awareness of your natural, spontaneous breath. Awareness of your breath and your body. Awareness of your fingers and your toes.
You are welcome to stay in your relaxation. Or join me in moving the fingers and the toes. Allowing that movement to grow into your arms and legs. When you're ready, make your way back to seated, nice and slowly. In your hands to the mascara and heart center. Rub your hands together, create some friction and warm them up. Feel that energy building. And then place your hands over your eyes. And as you gently release your hands, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Class. I really enjoyed that, yeah.